Wednesday's high 86 and Thursday's high 84. And that's AccuWeather on KYW News Radio. 69 and cloudy, heading up to 78. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. This is KYW, the news center on your radio dial. Now heard online at the new CBS Philly.com. I'm Lynn Adkins. Greg Orlandini is at the editor's desk. In the news at this hour, flooding and power outages for problems as Tropical Storm Irene continues to batter the East Coast. Made land early this morning near Little Egg Inlet. Four million customers without power, nine deaths recorded. Now, QNW Sports, sponsored by National Penn Bank. Here's Rob Woodford. No Phillies and Marlins on Saturday. Doubleheader has been reset for Thursday, September 15th. First pitches will be scheduled for 2.35 and 7.35 p.m. The postponement means the Phils will be rather busy over the next month, playing 33 games in 31 days. The streak begins Monday in Cincinnati against the Reds. Over to the gridiron, the Eagles welcome to receiver Jeremy Macklin back to the practice field Saturday. Macklin hasn't been able to do more than a few drills since the start of training camp due to illness. Fellow receiver Steve Smith also joined the Eagles lineup. The former Giant has been recovering from surgery the last several months. With one final preseason tune-up coming Thursday in New York against the Jets, Deshaun Jackson says the passing game remains a work in progress. I mean, it's going to be a day-by-day -day thing. I think every day we'll get better and we have to practice hard at it. And it's something I'm new to Mike Vick, so we'll get better. In other Eagles news, Coach Andy Reid continues to shuffle the offensive line, sliding left guard Todd Harriman's over to right tackle, where he'll be charged with the task of watching star quarterback Michael Vick's blindside. Evan Mathis takes Harriman's starting spot at left guard, and King Dunlap goes to the second string right tackle position. That's sports. I'm Rob Woodfork for KYW News Radio. Up next on KYW News Radio. In the Storm Center, I'm Al Novak. I'll be monitoring outages, the mass transit picture, roads, and the situation at the airport. KYW News Time 947. Ever wonder what it would be like to look into a crystal ball? If given the opportunity, would you take a look? Maybe see what your kids look like. What college they attend. Do they still look like you? What will their major be? Did they get any scholarship money? Are they wearing weird futuristic clothes? Who will they marry? Is it someone you approve of? Will it be a destination way? Oh, maybe it's in Hawaii. Will they serve poi? Who will be there? Will you push back retirement just to pay for it? How old will you be when you retire? Where's your retirement party? Who's there? What kind of cake will you have? Who will handle your parents' estate when they're gone? Will you finally get to travel? Where? Back to Hawaii? Maybe Europe? You always wanted to see Spain. Do cars fly in the future? How high off the ground? What does a flying car call? A reminder from... I just got off the phone with Pico, and they still say they have they, they have maintained that it, it still stands at 297,000. It's a s very slow process in restoring power. 21,000 of those outages are here in the city of Philadelphia. PSE and G, 233,000 customer outages. Atlantic City Electric has 97,000 customer outages, much less than uh, Pico and PSE and G. On Mass Transit, SEPTA, Amtrak, NJT, Patco, they remain shut down. They could resume sometime this afternoon. I asked SEPTA's Andrew Bush when SEPTA might uh, start that service back up, and he told me. We don't have a specific timeline on it yet. You know, we're working very closely with the city and, and other municipalities in the state in terms of resuming service and when it's going to be safe to do that. Many, uh, of course, travelers uh, are asking, when will the airport resume uh, service uh, with flights? Well, the, the bottom line is all flights are canceled. In the meantime, airport officials are asking everyone to stay away from the airport, stay off the roads, uh, stay home until it's safe. Uh, you'll get updates on the airport from the KYW Storm Center, or you can go to the airport link at cbsphilly.com or dial up 
the airport uh, number, the hotline at 1-800-PHL-GATE for more information. Live from the Storm Center, Al Novak, KYW News Radio. And now to Ventner and KYW's Mark Abrams. Well, Lynn, it appears that uh, several of the Atlantic County shore communities really dodged the bullet here. I've been through Longport and Margate, now in Ventnor here. I just talked to Joe, who was among those who decided to stay. He runs the surf shack. Right around dark, it, it's, the, the wind started to kick up, the, the tide came up, um, and all it started to happen, so it looked like, oh, here it comes. And then uh, as soon as it, ha it came on, it, it left. It, it just seemed to die out. Yeah, Joe said that uh, there was a little bit of rain and some wind, but uh, he said that he was in good shape. He just wanted to make sure the business was okay, and uh, there's a, he was not alone. I talked to some other business folks who said uh, it was just a matter of preservation. They called it uh, very similar to a winter nor'easter. Reporting live from Ventnor, Mark Abrams, KYW News Radio. Ireland invites you to the epic B in Bridgeford. New to be in Bridgeford? Brace yourself. After a night at a Galway B&B, &B, you head to the Caracalee Broke Bridge. Crossing the 70-foot chasm urges you to return to solid ground, setting out to Waterford, home of the famous crystal. Careful, though, this town has a tradition of you break it, you buy it.